Hello everyone. Here I am with another problem on the disposal of effluents. So in this problem, uh, we are going to find out uh, what is the critical deficiency of dissolved oxygen whenever the sewage has been added into the, the natural streams and or it may be the river. So let us move on to the problem. So draw the given parameters and how you are going to determine uh, what is the critical devo deficient whenever the sewage has been added into the natural streams. Let us discuss uh, with uh, whatever the problem it has been given. So a city is there, right? So a, a city having a discharge of 100 cumex. So means the city is there, the discharge of a sewage is 100 cumex here. So it has been discharged into the river which is having, it is fully saturated, clear? So means 100 cumex of the sewage has been discharged into the river. So assumed that the river has been fully saturated with the oxygen. Clear? And the river is flowing at a rate of 1500 cumex. So means the rate of flow of a river is 1500. That is Q, yeah, QR is nothing but it is 1500. So during its lean days. Clear? And which is flowing with a velocity of 0.1 meter per second. Is it clear? The 100 cumex of sewage has been discharged into the river. Clear? And the, the river is having the discharge of 1500 cumex and which is flowing with a velocity of 0.1 meter per second. So and another thing, a 5 days BOD of the sewage is given. So that is the BOD of sewage after the 5 days. That is 5 days BOD of a uh, sewage is 280 mg per liter clear the 5 days BOD is given so here you need to find out when and where so means at what distance and at what time the critical deficiency in the dissolved oxygen may occur at the downstream portion of a river and what is the quantity that is amount of that dissolved oxygen you need to determine here Assume the coefficient of purification of the stream F is given that is required for the calculation and the coefficient of deoxygenation KD is given that is 0.1. So this is what the given problem in which you need to determine what is the DEVO deficient. So here 100 cumex of the sewage is there it has been discharged into the river and that, that river is having the, the flow of 1500 cumex which is moving with a velocity 0.1 meter cube per second and the 5 days BOD of the sewage is given. So here when is nothing but at what distance and where at what time the critical DEVO deficiency will occur and what is the amount is nothing but the quantity. That is you need to determine in this problem. So let us move on to the problem how you are going to determine this DEVO deficient. So the first step is, so you need to assume uh, the dissolved oxygen in a river that is initial dissolved oxygen at a saturated, saturated condition. So means the saturated DO content of a river it has been assumed as a 9 point mg per liter as per the annex in the uh, as, as per the, the provision in the annex and in some problem they may give the initial DO that is the saturated DO of the river it, it has been given in the problem itself so that is 9 point mg per liter is it has been assumed as a initial DO of the river so the next thing is you need to determine what is the dissolved oxygen of a mix at t is equal to 0. So t is equal to 0 is nothing but what if we are having a flowing of the river whenever the sewage is added so that point that is initial point at which the sewage has been added to the natural streams or a river that is starting point. So in, in that starting point what may be the DO of the mix that is you are going to determine in here. So as we know this is what the starting point therefore there is a DO of the sewage is nil here. So means in that is the point where we are mixing that uh, quantity of sewage into the river therefore the DO of the sewage has been uh, zero in this point. 
so this is what the general equation that what we are used to calculate the concentration it may be the BOD or it may be the COD this is what the similar formula if you are calculating BOD you have to use the BOD concentration if you if you are calculating the DO you need to use the DO concentration here so QR Q1 is nothing but the DO concentration of the river QS is nothing but the DO concentration of the sewage and QR and QS are the corresponding discharges here the DO of the sewage has been assumed as a nil therefore CS is zero here and the river is flowing with the uh, the discharge of 1500 cumex that is QR and whatever the sewage is there the quantity of the sewage is uh, the 100 cumex here by substituting that we will obtain what is the DO of the mix at a initial stage that is 8.62 mg per liter is the DO of the mixture at the starting point where the sewage has been added. So next is so we need to determine what is the initial DO deficient. So in the problem the main aim is to determine the critical DO deficient. In order to determine the critical DO deficient first we need to determine what is the initial DO deficient. Clear? So the initial DO deficient it is represented by D0. It has been obtained by deducting the DO of the mix in the saturated DO. So as we know the saturated DO is 9.2 DO of the mix as we calculated here 8.62 by taking the difference we will obtain the initial DO of the mix here that is 0.58 is nothing but initial DO deficient that is dissolved oxygen deficient of a mixture here. So then uh, uh, we need to determine what is the 5 days BOD of the mixture. So whenever the sewage has been added into the uh, river, so what uh, the, whatever the mixture is there, what is the BOD of that mixture after 5 days. So why we need to do all this procedure? So because uh, whatever the uh, formula we are uh, using for the calculation of uh, uh, the DO deficient. Uh, so in order to calculate that these are all the things are required. So that the 5 days BOD of the mixture has been calculated. So as I told you the this is what the common formula what we are used to calculate this uh, the concentration. Uh, since uh, the BOD of a river is not mentioned in the problem clear you just go through the problem once uh, in that problem the BOD of the river is not given so that uh, we are considering the river BOD as zero clear and the river uh, the sewage BOD is given after the five days the BOD of the sewage is given just I will show you that is five days BOD of a sewage is 280 mg per liter but in the entire problem they have not mentioned the BOD of a river here therefore the BOD concentration of a river is zero and the remaining thing is same the what is the corresponding uh, discharges QR and QS values are same and by substituting that we will obtain the 5 days BOD of the mix clear that is it has been also represented y5 that is y5 is also indicate y is nothing but that bod concentration that is the 5 days 5 days bod that is is equal to the 17.5 mg per liter is the 5 days bod of the mix here so the next is you need to calculate what is the ultimate bod so this is what the standard uh, the formula that uh, what we are used uh, uh, in the calculation of the 5 days bod uh, that is ultimate BOD here you just observe so L is nothing but uh, ultimate BOD here and Wi-Fi is nothing but the 5 days BOD and um, so KD is nothing but uh, the deoxygenation uh, coefficient here uh, it has been given in the problem KD value is given and L uh, Wi-Fi you have calculated the remaining is L is the unknown L is nothing but what here the ultimate BOD so by substituting the known quantities uh, here we will get what is the ultimate BOD of the mix. Clear? So still now what we did we have calculated initially we have assumed what is the, the DO concentration then we have calculated the initial DO deficient. So then 
फाइव डेज बीओडी दैन इट इज द बीओडी ऑफ अ अल्टीमेट बीओडी ऑफ द मिक्स हियर सो आफ्टर वंस यू नो द अल्टीमेट बीओडी द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ क्रिटिकल डीओ डेफिशियंट दिस इज वॉट एक्चुअली वी रिक्वायर्ड इन द प्रॉब्लम so this is uh, the standard uh, the first stage bod prob formula that we are new uh, used to calculate the critical uh, devo deficient so here l is known that is ultimate uh, bod the just now what we have calculated and dc is nothing but critical devo deficient this is only you need to determine here clear and f uh, is nothing but it is a uh, the constant and uh, d not is nothing but uh, the initial devo deficient and l is the uh, so ultimate bod here so all the values uh, is uh, given in the problem f is known l is known and d not is known by substituting all this that is f is 4 it has been given in the problem you can observe here uh, f is nothing but coefficient of purification of a stream and the coefficient of deoxygenation so these values are given you need to substitute that in the equation you will obtain what is the critical devo deficient so it is what we have obtained what is the quantity of devo deficient that is critical devo so still we need to determine where and when so where is nothing but at what distance when is nothing but at what time there is a devo deficient critical devo deficient will occur that is you need to determine still so in order to determine that we are having the standard formula to determine tc is nothing but at what time the critical devo deficient will occur so the tc is nothing but this is the standard formula 1 divided by kd of minus 1 the log to the base 10 of f into bracket this is what the the equation here so here kd is known purification constant um, deoxygenation constant f is the purification constant d not is nothing but initial devo deficient l is the ultimate bod you need to substitute all the values here by simplifying the equation you will obtain what is the time at which there is a critical devo deficient will occur that is tc so means what 1.95 days after this we can observe the deficiency in the devo that is the critical devo deficiency will occur so the next is at what distance clear at what distance it is occurring so means the river is flowing continuously with an velocity is given that is 0.1 meter per second so whenever the river is flowing it has been mixed with the sewage at what distance this critical devo deficient is occurring so in order to determine that the very very general equation the distance is equal to velocity into time of travel the velocity is has been given in the problem itself the river is flowing with an velocity of 0.1 meter per second and at a traveling time just now you have calculated that is 1.905 days so that you need to substitute in order to convert it into the meter per second so you have to multiply the 24 into 16 to 60 so then by simplifying we have obtained 16.46 km so this is what the distance that is where so what they have asked in the problem find out when and where the critical devo deficient is occurring and what is the quantity clear so now we have clear with the concept you can observe here in this we have find out it what is the quantity of the devo deficient and this equation we have calculated at what time and here we have obtained at what distance so that we can conclude here the most critical deficient will occur at 1.905 days so means critical devo deficient will occur after 1.95 days whenever the sewage has been added so after the adding of the sewage after the 1.95 days this devo deficient will occur and at a distance of 16.46 km so after the 16.46 km on the downstream point of the sewage disposal we will see this critical devo deficient so this is how you are going to determine so what is the deficient of a devo in the mix and what time it is occurring in the 
the particular uh, river that you are going to determine using this method hope you have understood the um, the numerical of calculation of the the deficient in the do thank you